Christopher Magara is a coffee farmer in central Uganda. But a routine check on his farm shows that the plants are affected by pests and diseases. Previously they were being attacked by this uh, disease now. So we need to improve the garden. So I'm going to replace all the, the good bad tree, the old tree with the new planting. Scientists confirm that the plants are being affected by leaf rust and coffee berry disease. These are fungal diseases. They normally like uh, very high humid areas and uh, they also, especially for the rust, it likes the high temperature areas. So when we are having a lot of rains and the temperatures are quite high, then you will find that the coffee leaf rust becomes more prevalent. But the solution is in the offing, replacing the old coffee trees with disease resistant plants. Scientists at this research institute are developing new coffee varieties that are resistant to pests and diseases. But in the meantime, they are encouraging farmers to use recommended pesticides and fungicides to keep their plants healthy. But as the farmers apply these remedies, they are also asking for more technical support. People need to be educated about the use of fertilizers, the agrochemicals, Latest figures from the Uganda Coffee Development Authority show that the country earned close to 630 million US dollars this year compared to about 512 million US dollars last year. Uganda's target is to produce more than 20 million bags by 2025. And farmers like Magara are hoping to play a bigger part of this production.